Hi, my name is Aaron Brody. I'm the director of the Bade Museum at Pacific School of Religion. I'd like to welcome you all to the museum uh, and give you a little bit of, bit of background. For over 80 years, the Bade Museum of Biblical Archaeology at Pacific School of Religion has served as a window into the ancient biblical world. Through the preservation, research, interpretation, and presentation of artifacts recovered by the museum's namesake founder, William F. Bade, our collection highlights the material culture of the ancient world. The Bade Museum is home to a collection of artifacts and archives from the archaeological excavations at the site of Tel Anazbe, which uh, William F. Bade, then professor of Old Testament literature and Semitic languages at Pacific School of Religion, excavated over five seasons uh, between 1926 and 1935. The roughly 6,000 objects in the collection represent more than 4,000 years of material culture and history of ancient Palestine. Join us as we explore ancient life at an Israelite town through public lectures, events, and exhibits that highlight the permanent collection and contemporary artwork of the local San Francisco barrier artists, the region in which we are um, presently housed. Check out the Bade Museum website where you can browse recently updated digitized collections, find a schedule of upcoming programming, and experience our latest virtual exhibitions that highlight the institution's collection, history, and partnership with local artists. Join our mailing list today by visiting our website and please consider donating to the Bade Museum. Thank you. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Brooke Norin and I'm the Associate Curator here at the Body Museum of Biblical Archaeology. Uh, so today we're going to give you an update on some of the projects we've been working on during the pandemic. So back in March we found ourselves in the same position as museums all over the world where we lost access to our collection and our physical museum space. And so over the past six months we've been rethinking how we'd like to share and create body museum content. So the first big update we have is our uh, website redesign, which you can see here, um, and our focus on digital collection. So we're expanding the amount of objects and educational material that we have available on our website, um, as well as creating digital exhibitions of some of our permanent collections, which are on view but close to the public, um, as well as rotating contemporary um, art exhibitions. And these um, showcase the work of local artists in the Bay Area. And Melissa and Sam will both give us um, some updates on some specifics of these exhibitions we've been creating. And then our second big update is the YouTube channel. So at the moment, we have some um, previously recorded lectures and interviews for you to check out, um, but we're also in the process of uh, creating a series of virtual lectures that are, will be scheduled for the upcoming year uh, that will be made available on our channel. Yes. Hi, I'm Melissa Craddock. I'm curator of the Body Museum and an affiliated fellow at the Katz Center for Advanced Judaic Studies at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, and over the past couple of months, my museum work from home has focused on collaboratively building capacity for the museum and its staff to pivot from in-person tasks to remote roles at home. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Okay, um, so what I mean by building capacity is expanding the resources that the museum has as it's at its disposal to create these new virtual initiatives that Brooke was just talking about so that we can reach new on audiences online. These activities have involved long-term planning to adapt as a public-facing museum with a web interface, as well as finding and testing new digital platforms and developing skills to present the Tel Anaz Bay archeological collection digitally. It's also involved a lot of grant writing aimed at raising funds to support projects like virtual lecture series, 
creating born digital web exhibits, developing online teaching tools about archaeology and the ancient world, and expanding the museum's ability to host a virtual collection online. It's going to highlight briefly just one example of a new digital initiative. This is a web exhibit called Isfahani Architecture, Modeling Beauty and Diversity. And it's based on a contemporary art exhibit that debuted in the Bade Museum Gallery about a year ago. And this is our original uh, poster for our opening reception. The exhibit features the work of talented Bay Area photographer, Saeed Nuseiba, whose photographs capture details of historic Islamic architecture at the city of Isfahan, Iran. The images focus on the decorative feature called mukarnas, which is a type of monumental or ornamental vaulting in domed ceilings. And most of the buildings included in the exhibit date to the 16th to 18th centuries. And he uses these really stunning photographs to illustrate the intricate colors, the dimensionality and the shape of mukarnas and the huge diversity of media and textures of this architectural form as just one example of the cultural contributions of Islamic architecture in Iran. So we invite you to join us for this web exhibit when it debuts in the next few weeks. So keep an eye out for updates. Um, all right. Hi, I'm Samuel Fister, and I'm the collections manager uh, at the Bade Museum. And while the museum has been closed, uh, I have been busy uh, working remotely on shoring up the museum's data infrastructure. And what does this mean? Let me go ahead and share my screen really quick. Um, so it means I've been working on improving and standardizing uh, the storage for all of our digital assets. Um, in, including writing out a series of uh, data storage protocols, asset protocols, uh, and this covers everything from our historical photographs and film archives, data for our central catalog, and files from previous research, events, and exhibits. This has improved capacity uh, and accessibility to all of our digital files, so our team uh, can you know, more easily work remotely and collaboratively together um, and, and it helps us do the work that we need to do every day. Um, I've also been helping build our team's remote collaboration capacities um, so we can, can continue to work together to produce and publish exciting new content. Uh, one bit of new content uh, that is forthcoming is a new exhibit on the daily life in an ancient Judean town, which is actually adapt, uh, adapted from our uh, traveling exhibit, which we've had for quite a while. Um, so check back on our social media and our YouTube page for more information about that uh, in the near future. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Jess Johnson, and I'm the assistant curator at the Bade Museum. Uh, since COVID, I've been coping with relocating to be closer to family a few times, as well as continuing my work at the museum and being a PhD student in the Near Eastern Studies Department at UC Berkeley. Currently, I am starting to explore a project where I build an interactive 3D model of the archaeological site um, from which most of our collection originates, which is Tel El Nazba. Uh, some initial bumps that I encountered in the road were just finding a computer that had the processing power to be able to run certain programs to build the model, like Blender, Maya, or Agi Soft Metashape. Also, because this site was active at a time, obviously, when digital humanities was non-existent, myself and the team have had to get creative about how to turn our analog resources into being digitally accessible. So I will share my screen. Here is an example of the first temple or Solomon's temple from Jerusalem. This is a model that's available on an open source website called Sketchfab, and it is produced from the Bible Lands Museum in Jerusalem. So this is just a great resource for inspiration and what I hope to achieve for our archeological site. And I want to try and also include some talking points and touring points where guests can interact with the model and learn some more about the site itself. 